For this first watercolor, what you're going to do is just do basically a background and a silhouette. It's going to be the beginning watercolor to learn about landscape. And I have these smaller sheets of paper, which are what I would call a practice size. These are going to be smaller. But for the sake of the uh, video, I'm going to use this so you can see what's going on. But use the smaller one to begin with. Here's the sheet. If you take a look at this sheet, it's the watercolor sheet. And it's going to go over the basic steps, taping down your paper. And then it goes from how to start your watercolor. And when you start a watercolor, you start with, uh, you begin with the end in mind. And you're going to work backwards. So you're going to work the background, then the midground, then the foreground, and the details last. So it goes background, which might end up being your sky, midground, foreground, and the details at the end. And you're going to hear me talk about that over and over again. First step, tape your paper down. So I'm going to do a picture of a silhouette that has the sky with kind of a sunset here. And so that's the background and the midground. I'm going to do those together. And I've got the silhouette of trees coming over. Let me show it to you right now. So to begin with, what I'm going to do is get the paper wet. That's why it's taped down so that when it does curl, it stays mostly flat. And I'm going to do the sky and do the water at the same time. Here are the brushes that I chose. I have a wash brush, which is pretty big, and I have a medium brush, which is a number eight, and a fine brush, which is a zero, that can do all the different details coming in. But I'm going to use my wash brush first, and I'm going to put a layer of water down just on the paper. So next, right across the horizon, right about here, I'm going to put orange and I'm going to make it, I'm going to mix up a wash of it in the lid. And I'm going to add just a touch of blue, which is the opposite or the complementary color to tone it down to get it just a little duller at the top and at the bottom in the silhouette. So here's the background, the midground right here. And what I did is I even put a little bit of yellow across here. So it's got this yellow fading to a faint orange, to a kind of a muted orange up here because I put some blue in it. And I'm going to let it dry now so that it's going. we're going to be able to work with the foreground, which, which are going to be trees that we put in here when it's dry. Now that this background is dry, what I'm going to do is sketch out the silhouette of the trees and the one tree sticking up here. And then I'm going to paint it in using a brown orange mixture that almost looks black. Um, maybe throw a little bit of black in there and that'll pull this picture together. Now that I've sketched it in, I'm ready to start painting. So I'm going to use this brush, this flat, because it's going to be nice for making trees and getting the details. I can use it this way, and then I can even use it on the point to get um, almost a stippling effect to get the dots in there. And I'll use a zero also to get some of the fine detail. Here's the final watercolor silhouette. What I did is I worked the background, I did the sky, and then I did the midground, which is the water right here. And then I put these trees in. And as it dried, I put in all these little branches and leaves up in here, just using a zero 
in a small brush just stippling it or dotting it in but you can see the process what I would do is try one like this so do your background your midground and then do your silhouette over top of it and use that little practice piece